Hello, Trinity. Hope you're enjoying these nice warm spring days and getting a chance to get outside. So today, as we continue on in our Emotions of Jesus series, we're going to take a look at a time when Jesus felt the emotion of isolation and loneliness. So let's read Mark 14, verse 32 to 38. It says, They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John, John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. <clears throat> Going a little further, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So as we know, if you've read on in this story, you know Jesus went away two more times and he prayed. And every time he came back, the disciples were sleeping. Jesus is about to head to the cross. He's about to die. And he says to his closest friends, all I need you to do is one thing. I just need you to stay awake and keep watch. And what do they do? They, they fall asleep. The people who were supposed to have his back left him alone. As we read out through the rest of the story, um, all of his disciples fled and abandoned him. And even Peter uh, rejected Christ and said, I don't even know who he is. He denied Christ. I can't imagine the feelings of isolation and loneliness Jesus must have felt. As I was reading this story, I, I thought about back when I used to work at St. John's Kitchen. And a lot of times people would come into the kitchen carrying everything they owned on their back, in their backpack. And there was a couple moments when people would say to their friend, do you mind just watching my bag while I go and get food? And there was a couple times when people did this and their friend left and their bag eventually got stolen. And these were such hard moments to watch because this was, this was the person's stuff. It was all of their belongings. And not only that, they, the person they trusted left and abandoned them. So there was feelings of abandonment. There was feelings of no one cares about me. Why wouldn't they just wash my stuff for a few minutes? Uh, it was such a sad moment to see. Have you ever had moments when people who were really close to you didn't have your back? I think we all have. Or when you really trusted someone to come through for you and they just, they just didn't? This is such a hard feeling. Isolation and loneliness is really such a hard feeling. So what, what does Jesus offer us? The first is that Jesus identifies with our loneliness. If you really think about it, isn't it so crazy that the God who created the whole universe actually felt these feelings of loneliness and abandonment um, all for our sake? It's such a crazy thing to think about, that the God we serve has felt the same feelings that we have. Another thing is that Jesus gives us his church, and the church is his body here on earth, and church is really meant to be a family and a community. Now, our culture is not very good at making community. We don't have a lot of true communities in our culture, and I think the reason this is is that true community takes a lot of work. True community means you spend a lot of time with people. Um, it means you sit with these people you don't know and, and maybe have these awkward conversations that maybe you don't have a lot of things in common. It's uncomfortable. Um, true community means when there's an issue that comes up, you have to deal with it. You have to make it work. You have to make peace. This is work. This takes work to get to this point. So creating true community takes work. So I want to challenge you today. That if you're a part of Trinity, let's all put some work into creating community. This is my challenge to you. This week, go and maybe deliver flowers or deliver cookies to someone who, who you know might be feeling a little bit isolated or lonely. Take those uncomfortable steps and just, just go and visit people or call people that, that you know might be feeling lonely right now. That's my challenge to you this week. So may the Lord be with you as you seek to, to work to build community and as you draw close to those who are feeling lonely and isolated. So God bless you and, and we'll see you soon.